Everybody, welcome back to Pinhook Outdoors. Uh, it's Saturday afternoon here in April. Uh, I've got a couple hours to kill, so I'm going to try and do some fishing. We've had some weird weather patterns move through, kind of went from being um, really warm this past week and almost kind of summer-like uh, to tomorrow we've got a chance for a major cold front and uh, a lot of rain. So uh, today's kind of the, the calm before the storm, but it's still kind of a weird front, so I don't know what the fishing's going to be like. Um, I picked up a bucket of minnows. I'm gonna go live bait today because that typically seems to do better in, weir in weird weather. Um, I'm gonna fish a dam here. I know there's a lot of bait stacked there right now. I saw it the other day and the fish are feeding pretty good on it. So I'm gonna jig some minnows with a uh, just an eighth or a quarter ounce jig head. And I'm also, if I get any small rock bass or crappie or anything, um, I did bring a, uh, um, a line to throw out some catfish bait with. So I'll chunk one of those up and see what happens. So um, stay tuned and we'll see what we get. Just using the old bass bass sized minnow jig head. Try not to fall. It's always a good thing when you don't kill yourself while you're fishing. Got something. Didn't take long at all. Big rock bass. Probably let him go. If I get a small one, I'll chunk it up for catfish bait. Here a little on the big side. Left me my minnow too. It's awfully nice of him. There we go. That's the cast I wanted right in that corner. That felt bigger. That felt like a bigger fish. Let's see if we can get him. This ought to catch a big old pig. At least I hope so. There we go. That feels decent. Oh, oh, what do we got? Don't get on the log. Oh, it's a nice small mouth. That's a real nice one. Oh yeah, there we go. That's more what we're after. I appreciate you rock bass, but this is really the, nice, nice. It's probably 16 inches. Beautiful small mouth. Couldn't help yourself around that minnow, could you? All right. Go and get big or bigger. All right, next time I'm gonna try out in that other, that other pool there. Ooh, that small mouth spooked up some bait fish there. That was pretty fun to watch. But I'm gonna try right out there. Hey, all sorts of stuff's jumping right here. But that pool right out there, I'm gonna have to wade out in that shallow rock bar a little bit. So come with me. There we go. Oh, there we go. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Not getting away from me this time. Basically all I'm doing is throwing out there. I'm letting the current do a lot of the work, but I am, you know, jigging in a little bit, but you get up there in that that undertow by the dam and it's just constantly washing bait bait around. It's washing minnows and shad and crawdads and everything you know insects and those fish sit right there on the other side of it and just wait for stuff to get washed down pretty much right into their mouths 
So if you get right up in that, you kind of let the current do what it wants to do with it, there's a good chance fish will pick it up, but it also doesn't hurt to give it a little extra, little extra action. Ooh, another nice fish. Oh, bass or catfish? It's one of the two. Boy, this dude's fighting. Might be a cat. Keeps digging. Now it's another. Now it's a real big white bass. Whew. That's a mondo there. Yeah, buddy. You wanted that thing too. You got that jig head down there, bud. Whew. I'll have to get my pliers. Nice right, fat white bass. Got a couple real nice ones like this over here the other day. Fishing artificials though. With minnows, I guarantee you I can sit here and just slam these dudes. Like I said, it's good to try to not fall. Choked there, dude. All right. I got a picture of you too. Documenting catches. Showing people that I actually can fish. Sometimes I doubt it myself. All right. I'm changing things up here a little bit. I stuck a bobber on. I'm gonna try that for a little bit. Kept having all sorts of little rock bass and stuff that were sitting around on the bottom waiting to chew off my bait out there. And I was just using the jig head, so. Let's see if see if this changes anything. When I hook them like that, I hook them to the tail so they stay alive. I don't have to jig them around or anything. There we, oh, that was a nice fish too. Dang it. Didn't get a very good hook set on it. Yeah, the wind's gonna be uncooperative and blow the wrong way here. Make it hard for me to cast. Got you this time, whatever you are. Oh, you're bulldogging, what are you? Now yeah, you're a bass of some sort, I think. Uh, white bass, yep. These are big white bass too, ladies and gentlemen. They're fun to catch. Not my target species right now, but they put up a nice fight. A lot of people like to eat them. I've eaten them before, they're pretty good. Um, but the springtime, when they're real fat like this, they're just, they're, they're a lot of fun to catch. You can catch lots of them in short periods of time and uh, good size ones too, so it's a lot of fun.
Got something all reeling in. That doesn't happen very often. He smacked it too. Our white bass. These things are aggressive. This is a smaller one. This is the smallest one I've gotten yet. Just a wee white bass. fish on here another white bass that's a bigger one they're all over this dam right now there's a ton of shad up there I can see them sitting along that wall there and I've seen them jumping and stuff too well that's a first. Caught a sucker on a minnow. Never had that caught him in the mouth too. He actually went for it. I thought it was gonna be a little channel cat or something. But clear as day, it's a sucker. What are you doing eating minnows, dude? It's not your guy's usual forage. He hit nice too. He thumped it. Got the horns right there, that means they're mating. Pretty, 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 uh, I don't know if that's, I don't think that's a red horse. So he's got the red fi under fins, but he doesn't have the red tail. Suckers on minnows. Never thought I'd see the day, huh? Well, it did pretty good down there. Um, only fished for about an hour and a half, and I caught quite a few good ones. Uh, the, probably the best catch of the day was that, uh, that smallmouth I got early on. Uh, it's probably about a 16 inch or probably two two ish pounds um, i caught a ton of white bass and a few rock bass um, and then the most bizarre catch i got today was i caught a probably about a 15 16 inch sucker um, that actually ate a minnow that i was using um, i've had him eat night crawlers and and, and then grubs and stuff like that and i snagged him with lures but um never caught one on a live minnow so that was a first but um yeah it was a good day of spring fishing and uh we got we got a few good more weeks of it and um Hope y'all are doing well out there and we'll catch you outside.